Hey guys, so I'm getting a perm tomorrow. I'm talking very quietly because my family is sleeping. Um, so I'm going to show you like the aftermath of my perm. And if I know details about what I'm getting, I'll let you know. If not, sorry. But I just want to let you know how I'm kind of prepared for this. I've been using conditioner once um, a day for the last like three weeks. And I use this face, not face, hair mask. Um, it's an argon oil moisture repair hair mask by I'm just gonna show you what it's called I don't really know what it's saying but yeah it looks like this sorry I kind of crumbled it up because I was using it name of that mask down below and I'll even put the name of the conditioner I use down below I like it um so yeah I just wanted to get this video started but in this clip it'll be tomorrow so I'm getting ready right now but I wanted to show you what my hair looks like before the plan so I kind of have like a weird wavy thing going on, but it's mostly straight. It's pretty long. Probably gonna get it trimmed. What not? But yeah, so this is how it looked before. I'm gonna leave in like 10 minutes, but I'm getting nervous. Never done this before. But I'll show you guys after what it looks like. So yeah. So. This is how it looks. I love it. It's way more natural than I thought I was going to go for. I got it trimmed too. Um, I also feel like this side's a little more probably than the other side, but it's fine. Um, so I'm going to explain the process to you guys. I'm going to actually put this down because it's probably annoying to hold this like this, but I want to explain the process to you and things like that so you get better knowledge. Okay, so to start out, I went there. And we talked about what I wanted, and we decided to do... Bless you! So I went there, and we decided that I was going to do the flexible, like, bendy rods instead of the more, I don't know what, firm ones, I guess. Um, this make it more natural, as you can tell. It's pretty natural. But, yeah. I mean, uh, I'll let you know how she styled and everything after. So... She put the rods in, she put different sizes, she put bigger, like, thicker ones in the back, bottom, then in the front and top she put more, um, small ones, and then, um, she used three different kinds. And when she put something in while she was putting the rods in, it wasn't the solution, I don't know what it was. And we, you know, put the solution in, waited, the permanent solution, which kind of, like, break down. There's, like, I guess three or something, um, hair molecules, and it breaks down some of them. And we put the perm solution in for 15 to 20 minutes, then she rinsed it out, and then she put in the neutralizer in for 5 minutes. And this is like putting the bonds back together. Now let me just tell you, perm solution smelled disgusting. Like, I cannot describe it. I've never smelled anything like it before. I almost gagged. Like, it was so gross. Like, I can still smell it right now in my hair, and it's like grossing me out. Um, like, she obviously rinsed it out, but you can still kind of smell it because she didn't wash my hair. And then she put the neutralizer in, neutralizer in which smelled pretty good, actually. Um, and it kind of canceled out the smell, but it still smells a little bit. Um, and then she rinsed it out. I think she put conditioner in my hair and rinsed it out. I'm not sure, but pretty sure she did. And then we walked back to the station, and she cut my hair. So she combed through it and cut it. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to strain my hair, but it didn't. It's still curly, so that's good. She cut it two inches because my hair is pretty long, as you could tell. And now it's like this long. Um, so she cut my hair. And then she, I think she might have put something in my hair before she cut it, like spray something, like make it healthier, I guess. And then she cut it and then she, she blow dried it, I think. Okay, so she put, before she cut my hair, she put something in it to make it healthier. And then she cut it and then she got a diffuser and connected it to her hair dryer. That diffuser kind of makes it less like harsh when you're blow drying your hair. They say to get that after a perm. She diffused my hair. And then um, she even had me flip my hair down so my hair would be like how it's all volumized because it was not this volumized at first. And then she put a spray in that you can use when your hair is wet or dry in to like help maintain this curl. And she kind of curled a little, like not with a curling iron, but with her fingers, like twirled it. A couple of my front pieces, they're more curly. And yeah, this is kind of how I wanted it. I wanted my hair to look. Like after you put a braid in it at night and then you wake up in the morning and it's a little wavy, a little curly. 
Um, it's a little less than I thought I wanted, but I still really like it, and I have to play with it a little bit. I probably won't, you know, blow dry it. I'll pro probably get something like a cream or um, a spray, like a beach spray, something like that to maintain it after taking a shower. She said to always put hair products in when it's wet. Not You can do it when it's dry, but it's better when it's wet. She said, do not wash your hair for 48 hours. Try to put as minimal amount of product in as possible. She said at least once a week to deep condition it. Not too much, but at least once a week, she said. And, um, yeah, so I didn't get any of these products yet. I'm probably using the same conditioner I used that I showed you earlier in this video for my hair. You can still smell the smells in my hair right now because I didn't wash it yet. But I'll show you guys in after I wash my hair how it looks. Maybe I'll show you how I try to like make it look good. And yes, if you guys have any questions, comment down below or you know message me on my social media, Dream Stopping Two in One. But yeah, I really like it so far. So we'll see how it looks in a couple days. I forgot to say, um, putting the rods in didn't hurt really, except for once you got really close to my head, it hurt a little bit, but it was fine. And then um, the perm solution didn't really hurt at all. I don't really think it really did, so that's good. If you guys wanted to know if you think it was going to hurt, it didn't. I mean, once you like had it in like the um, rods for a long time, it was kind of getting tired in your head a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. I think that was bad for me, but this is like a personal weird problem I have. Like, tell me, please tell me if someone has this problem too, I'm not crazy. But, um, like, whenever people wash my hair, if you go to a hairdresser, or whatever, and for the perm, you do this for even longer. Like, you have to lean your head against the sink. That hurts my neck so bad when you do that. Like, it literally hurts so bad. Please let me know if that happens to you, too. I also forgot to say really fast that, um, oh, this is better lighting. Yeah, there's a better lighting. Um, my hair does not even feel, like, dead at all or, like, disgusting, which is really great. And this is the first thing I've really done to my hair besides highlighted it once. She did use highlighting, like, hair a perm solution for when you highlighted your hair before or like colored it and stuff like that so that's probably why but it's not even hard or anything like it feels good and like that so that's cool okay so i just took a shower and let me just tell you my hair before i took my shower was so tangled because i didn't i combed out the tangles every morning but then so i wasn't washing my hair it just got so tangled and it was horrible so i was like honestly i need to brush it so I looked up like if you can brush your hair when you have a perm and stuff and they gave me different tips. Um, I'll send the link of my favorite one. I'll send. I'll write down the link in the description box of my favorite tips about that. But everything was saying different things. So I just, you're supposed to use a wide tooth comb if you do this, but I don't have this comb. So I used this to brush out all my hair. And I figured it was fine because that's what my um, hairstylist did. So brush out all my hair. And let me just tell you, so much hair came out. It was so... Horrible. It was so hard to brush. My hair is not that hard to brush, but man, was that a struggle. That took so long. And oh, I forgot to say, in my shower, I used conditioner. Um, so I'm gonna like, my hair is still wet, so I'm gonna like start like scrunching it up a little bit and see if that helps. I'm gonna try to put nothing in my hair because you can see I literally brushed it all the way through, but it's still you can tell it's gonna be curly, so I think it's fine. But I was scared to brush it because I'm like, oh, I don't know. But I really gave two because it was so naughty. Like, it was crazy. Just because I waited 48 hours to wash my hair. Um, a little over 48 hours, actually. So, I needed to comb it out really bad. Let me know if you can use a brush and if, if it's fine. Because I'd rather use a brush. So, let me know. Because, I mean, still a lot of my hair came out. So, I feel like it didn't make a difference. So, look at how curly it looks. I'm going to show you guys once it's dry, too, obviously. But, I just wanted to give you a little bit of um. I think I guess, I don't know, a little process. So I'm just scrunching it because I'm lazy, but I might. It's horrible, honestly, I don't know how she did that. Like that was nothing, that was not right. I don't know how she did that. That was not right. Just let me know if not how she did it, but. She said you could tell the natural curvature of how your curls want to go. Well, I did nothing, um, I don't know. I'm just gonna scratch that piece too. Oh yeah, scratching it was perfectly fine. That worked. But yeah, so I might scratch wrong, but I mean it's it's getting the job done. Once it's dry, I'll show you guys. So 
so yeah, I waited over 48 hours, but even only to wait 40 hours. Washed my hair, put conditioner in. I combed it all the way through when it was wet with this. You could probably do it when it's dry, but that'd be really hard to do. This is already really hard when it was wet, like it was taking out so much hair. And then I, if your hair gets like less uh, curly, you can just get water in your hands and scrunch it up and it helps because I did that the last couple days. And we'll see how it looks after. Comment any questions you have for getting any information because I keep thinking of things to say and I just forget when I put on my camera. Okay, so now that it's almost fully dry, I'm going to show you guys it. Um, it's kind of funny because I thought that this side was less color than this side when I showed you guys last, like right after I got it done. But now this side kind of has some more straighter pieces compared to this side. If you can tell, I don't know if you can tell, but um, obviously you can't get everything the exact same, so it's fine. It's not fully dry yet, but it's almost there and, you know, it's getting kind of late, so I'm like, I'll just show you guys. But, um... So I kind of like how it looks, but I'm probably going to try to put some product in it tomorrow and show you guys to see how it looks. But this is how it looks when it's almost like the front's pretty much all the way dry, just the back's a little bit wet still. But yeah, she put, see I love how curly it is up here. It gets loose down here. And I think it looks good like that, but I wish it was a little bit more curly down here. But overall, I really like it. And it doesn't look crazy or anything. My hair does not feel destroyed. It's not as soft as it used to be, but it's definitely not gross or anything. Um, my hair isn't crazy, like frizzy, like, it might look frizzy to you, but this is actually good for my hair. Like, normally my hair is way more frizzy than this, so this is actually good. So, yeah. And also, I was told by my roommate that you should not brush your hair when it's curly because it'll make your hair really frizzy, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use a comb. But yeah, this is a different lighting if you want to see. See? That is wavy, but like that just looks more wavy. I don't know, but see, like there's kind of some straight pieces right here. They're not like fully straight, but a little more straight than I'd want. So maybe I'll try to fix it. Oh, I'm gonna actually try this. So I'm gonna go and get some water and like re wet. I'll show you guys what I mean. So I'm gonna get some water on my hand. Really, doesn't matter how wet it is. And I'm going to scrunch it again and see if that helps. Because it probably will. Yeah, it is helping. So I'll show you guys in a second, like the full, better view of it. And I tell you if I'm scrunching wrong, but I think this is like fine. I don't know. So it's wet, obviously, but I can't even tell if you can see it. I mean, yeah, I think that helps. And I did not show another clip of my hair when it's dry tonight. If I don't mention it again, then that helps and they're more even now or like it's pretty curly. So yeah, if you ever like get like more loose curls that you want and you want, try to just start with water. See if you don't need product, but if you do, get some product. I'm gonna try this tomorrow. My roommate is mostly letting me borrow this. Um, so I'm going to try this. It is called Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray infused with dead sea salt and sea kelp. NYM, I don't know if that's important. It's like a spray thing. I've used this before with my straight hair. And I do like it. It does work. That's why I'm going to try that. But um, the only thing is it does make your hair a little texturized and stuff. And I don't really like my hair being texturized. So that's why I'm trying to use nothing. Yeah, that definitely helped, I think. Like this side has like defined waviness while this side just has like loose waviness and I don't like that it's not the same I don't know how it did this side when she was putting in the rods wasn't staying in as well in that spot so maybe she didn't get it to stick in as well as I thought she did I don't know she was a very nice girl she did very good at everything what I was saying is she was a really nice girl she did so good um, I just I get really weird about having everything be perfect so sorry if I'm annoying about that I'm gonna let you guys know that I realized this during my video but I just was like so tired that like first of all the whole like first couple minutes of the video there's so much background noise that I did not realize what's going on so I'm sorry about that like when I was in the basement there's people walking around upstairs and it was so loud sorry about that also after I got my hair done especially I was so out of energy I was so tired I woke up way earlier than normal, which it still wasn't that early, but it was early for me. 
and I was just so tired so I was trying to have some energy because I was so excited about this video um, and I still loved filming it I was like yeah let's go but I just didn't have energy so I was annoyed or in a weird mood I was just tired if you notice that if not then it's fine but um, I do not know what that flag thing is behind me it's my roommates she told me but I kind of forgot so if you're wondering I really don't know but yeah so sorry this video is kind of like everywhere it's like a last minute oh I should do this because I was like no one's gonna want to see this but I'm like you know what they might because I was looking up so many YouTube videos to find out about perms and mine's kind of different than all the ones I've seen it's way more natural so it might be helpful but yeah I'm gonna put in product tomorrow because I'm not gonna put in tonight because I'm going to bed later for a while but um so I wouldn't want to put in product but I'll show you guys how it looks with that and then the video will probably be over and I'll upload it that day probably so yeah good night guys um, sorry that this quality of the video I feel like was not as good as I was intending it to be. I was kind of in a rush, like, I had a lot of stuff going on this weekend when I got my perm and I had, like, school today and everything, but I just wanted to add that I actually kind of like vlogging and if I actually start vlogging more, I'll make it way better quality, but, um, I kind of want to keep vlogging more, but I don't know if I will because I'm in college and stuff, so it might be kind of weird, but if I do fun things, like, on the weekends or something or in college like I want to do college vlogs but I'm kind of scared too honestly like I'm scared people would think I'm weird or I don't know if my friends would want me to vlog with them and I'm scared to ask which is so stupid I should just ask like I do have my old friends but um I don't know so I might vlog you know if I hang out with my friends back home or something I don't know but I want to start vlogging so I probably will think of something to vlog you probably don't care at all but if you like vlogs, you should totally subscribe because I'm probably going to do some vlogs soon. And you should follow my social media, Dreams Happen 2 in 1. Um, my Instagram, even though it's private, I pretty much let everyone follow me unless like they seem kind of creepy, honestly. And um, Twitter is open, like anyone can follow me, so you totally should. That was weird, sorry guys. Okay, so I just got up. to do this front piece filler that's already filler but like of course you know what I don't actually care that much like I honestly can't tell if it made a difference but probably it did it probably did it's probably my glasses it's like that okay I'm gonna just stop there because I'm lazy so I can't tell if I'm doing anything like I'll probably tell them editing this or something but I need to like help with this too lazy to do this every day. I'm probably just being natural, but this is how it looks. We can add that spray. I don't know if I added that enough or too much. I think it did make a difference a little bit. Yeah, it made a difference. This is how it looks. Next 
can't all square one side and scratch that side. So it's good to just try and scratch it. Because it kind of made it hard. Because I was like, oh, it started drying. Let's do it sooner. But yeah, I think it looks good. Like, I just don't like that spray. So I'll probably get some more. I'm lazy to hang out every day. But when I want these curls to really stay in, I definitely will. Because it did make a difference. Um, so that's good for her. And it's not too, it doesn't make your hair feel too gross or anything. A little bit texturized, but not bad at all. So yeah, that actually worked. Looks good to me. So that's the end of this vlog. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. Ask me on social media. Um, if you want me to do like a how my curls looking now video or like do I still like it or things like that, let me know. If you have any video requests, let me know. I need to tell my cheeks are red because I was just sleeping. Um, please like this video, comment down below, subscribe, hit that notification bell to notify me when I make new videos. And I'd be more welcome if you guys did that. Um, share this video, whatever you want to do. But yeah, this is how my perm looks. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. And love you guys so much. Stay tuned for more. Bye guys. Also, last thing, I always forget something. If you guys have any like advice of how to maintain your waves or whatever, um, you know, how to make your healthy, less frizzy, more wavy, you know, obviously I can put braids in at night and make it more wavy and wadgy, things like that. If you guys have any tips, anything I did wrong in this video, comment that down below. Not in a rude way, but just so I know I might fix it. I know some things I didn't do perfect. I was fine with that. But also, in case other people didn't know and I didn't say it, comment down below. If you're sure about it, if you're not sure, say, I'm not sure, but maybe. So you have to review people. But yeah, bye guys. Love you, stay tuned for more. Watch my old videos.